What's up, Aquarius? I'm going to do your energy reading here for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. This is your overall energy. Ooh. It says, you are on the right path and speaker. Okay, so I feel like um, I got like instantly teacher. Oh, but I feel like you want to explore more of your artistic side. So it's like you're creating more. Um, uh, yeah, there's some form of art you're adding to what. Yeah, see, make a decision based on your true heart's desires. And I feel like whatever you're doing and they're saying like. Be strategic, OK? Um, sit in meditation i feel like the divine is going to help you with your idea on like how to move forward with this because there's something here of like exploring um could even be something with music or but there's something here about your artistic side okay even drawing somebody's a, somebody does something with art okay with like drawing all right give me one um, but whatever, it, I'm hearing public display, whatever it is that you do, it's like, it's being um, displayed for everyone to see. Like, so maybe you post it online or something. All right, give me one card for Divine Feminine Energy, please. Okay, so somebody might be having some, it says obstacles and challenges, okay? Okay. So this is about like some sort of like separation. Um, there could be some sort of disconnection within your connection currently. Give me one card for divine masculine. Yeah, see emotional loss. Okay. Um, I feel like you're both feeling, but this is uh, fives. You could be seeing like 55 or fives everywhere. Um, something is changing within your connection here okay there's something here about like taking chances okay um i also feel like your art, art your expression of art however you cre express yourself cre creatively it's like it's going to help you like process and move through this okay like sometimes like if I'm like, you know, feeling very emotional about something like I'll like write a song or I'll write a poem or something like that, you know, so like maybe do something like that or dance like some I like to dance too. some sometimes I just like dance. All right. The connection. Yeah. See, rest in this is that meditation. I feel like however, um, you move forward in this it's like i feel like the divine is going to pass you down an idea yeah see there's the idea of creativity it's like going to help you move forward it's going to help like ignite like reignite the flame or um help you move past this somebody could have like really suffered like a severe loss here okay so it's like you're recuperating from the loss like there could have been a breakup here all right let's see clarify this obstacles and challenges for the divine feminine yeah see there's um so somebody could have found out their mother is sick or they're sick okay yeah this is this queen of cups like she doesn't always look angry but this this one definitely looks angry okay so somebody could be like and see how the the cup has the lid on it it's like someone is um withholding so either you or your person is withholding from the other person okay um it's like using it's whatever oh i'm hearing like manipulation things like that like this is not a nice energy okay um so some and and this could have caused like the wedge like this is why there's like some sort of um separation or why is separation happening either way you're both like recuperating from this like so this idea might just be a way on like how to move forward in and this is another five right here okay in like pursuing your passions like moving forward um for some of you it's going to be separately 
Give me one card for the Divine Masculine. Yeah. Okay. So there could be like some sort. This is, this can be emotional fulfillment, but this can also be like someone who um, has some sort of addi addiction or someone who is like hoarding all their, um, like doesn't share, like very selfish, right? Like maybe this person is like very abundant. They have a lot of things when they, but they like gloat about it. And this person over here, like maybe they struggle a little bit and they don't have everything that they need. But um, it's like that like caused like some sort of wedge between the two of you, you know, because it's like, if you love me, why don't you want to help me? You know, something like that. Okay. But it's like somebody is like, somebody could be very selfish here. Okay. They could even have a drinking problem. Okay, give me one card. It's like somebody, somebody, it's like manipulation. Like, I just feel like there's like some sort of like games being played here. Okay, yeah, cause an end to, um, an end in this, in this connection. Okay, uh, there's also like, something happening in dream state okay like i feel like there's some information being re revealed in your dream state in regards to to this connection i'm hearing uh prince thieves in the temple okay so let's see give me one card for the divine feminine energy yeah paying attention to the red flags and expressing your love i feel like this divine feminine uh is It says express your love. Like, I feel like they want you to express your love or they want to express their love. Wait, I don't know. What's at the bottom? Heart to heart conversation. Yeah. This divine feminine wants to talk, but it's like, why? Like, I feel like they're kind of like, why should I even make the effort? Right? Because like, I feel like I, I just heard like somebody's being a jackass. Okay. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Aquarius. Just take what's for you. Leave the rest because it's. There's like multiple situations going on here. There's one relationship here that's like, like, cause I'm, I'm very drawn to this like side eye. Like this guy is like seriously side eyeing this other girl. Like I feel like something happened. Possibly this queen of cups said something. Maybe they got mad. Okay. They could have felt left out or just like, kind of like discarded. And I don't feel like this person like purposely discarded this person. It was just that like, they're not used to thinking, putting anybody else before their needs, right? Okay, so this could have been what brought it to the uh, the head. But because of the reaction, it's like it made, it triggered something within this person, right? And, and it made them kind of like hoard whatever, like it, this could even be someone being selfish with their love, right? Like just not sharing it. Somebody could have said like, what, what I just heard is like, um, somebody, somebody said, I love you and did not get a response. Okay. Okay. Divine masculine. Yeah. Let go of control. Yeah. So the divine is asking you to be like, loosen up here, Aquarius. Okay. Or your person is being pushed to loosen up, but, um, uh, everybody's a little unsteady after what's happened here. Okay. Uh, everybody's reconsidering their options. All right. But it's like, there's only one option. That's like really good. All the other ones are kind of like filled with like, what actually are those things? Right. Yeah. True love. All right. Give me one card for the connection. Ooh. All right. We're getting two. So let's see what they got. Yeah. Separation, forgiving and learning. Yeah. See, I feel like there was like a big fight here. Okay. And, uh, I don't know if it can be, I feel like there's like a leveling of pride and ego that needs to happen here in order for this to like be fixed or vindicated. Somebody needs to be vindicated, but like, yeah, passion. But I do feel like, because there's like, there, there is a possibility for this to be like reignited, but I also feel like there's something here that's going to be like, there's a need to focus on your independence and your own like lives. Like, I feel like there's like a, they're saying enmeshment. Okay. 
So maybe one person's used to being alone and the other person's used to like doing something all the time with the other person. Okay. So it's like, there's, there's, it's, it's just not balanced. So it's like somebody needs to get like, a, like more, uh, like identify more of like who they are and what they like, you know, so that they're not, cause the other person's taking it as smothering, even though it's like, like just some people need to be alone. Like I know I need to be alone. Like there's some like I need to just chill. All like some there are times like my kids and I will be out. Like even if we just go to Costco, but it's like overwhelming. Like there's so many people there, and then we come home, and all three of us just go in our rooms, and nobody has to say anything. It's like no, no need to like take offense to us. It's like everybody needs to like decompress, right? And so somebody could have taken this like somebody decompressing, like personal right and really it's just like somebody didn't know how to say hey you know sometimes it's too much for me when i'm doing this so it's like i just need time by myself like don't take it offense like you can you can hang out in the living room you know it doesn't mean you have to go home i just need to like go chill outside and just need a couple hours by myself right so yeah and look at what's here it says relationship harmony we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved arguments and conflicts are being resolved now yeah so this is like some sort of battle of the egos here okay and um yeah somebody's about to speak up so this is what else i'm getting with this speaker so um yeah but let me see give me one card for advice here for aquarius gifts from god we angels bring you gifts from the creator open your arms to receive and hello from heaven so um anyone who is like your crossover loved ones are helping you to move forward so that it's like you can move past the pride and ego and move into a conversation because I do feel like a conversation is being wanted to like, there is a conversation that is like wanting to be had here. Yeah. It's just about like rebuilding your confidence because I do feel like somebody's ego was bruised. I possibly both here. Okay. It's like one person's ego got, got, like somebody got butt hurt because like somebody didn't want somebody to be there, but it's like they said it in the wrong way or something, you know, however they said it, it came across harsher than it was meant. Okay. And that person just like flipped out when they heard it, you know, they were having a re reaction. It was like this like response from like, they just felt like abandoned or, you know, left out and it's made them angry. So they feel like, this person needs to apologize and this person is like what the fuck why did they freak out like that like i don't know if i want to talk to this crazy person anymore you know so they're like she better apologize maybe if, i don't even care if she calls and apologizes you know so it's like this person doesn't hasn't like quite realized why like their part yet but i feel like there is like a the more that you guys like are separated and like spend your time in separation, like trying to see the lesson in whatever happened or just like take some quiet time for yourself to, um, you know, let, let the divine, like, like intrude your thoughts and show you your part. Like you'll get like, a different perspective it's like seeing things from a different perspective okay and it's going to bring in this separation so i do feel like you both are missing each other but neither one of you is ready to say hey i miss you okay because you're both kind of butthurt right now but um the divine does want you to express your love and uh but It's really up to you, okay? There is justice coming in here, but it's like there's a temptation here to just like stay stuck in this energy of like being angry, like see all men are alike, see all women are freaking pains in the ass, whatever it is that you say to yourself, because I feel like there's something like that here, but it's like this was just like literally a, a, a misunderstanding. And so before you move on, like be still, think before you speak because there is an opportunity for um yeah see emotional withdrawal heartache like it's like choose wisely make it make like 
don't do anything stupid. Don't like, don't react with like, oh, I'll show them. I'll go out with this person or I'll show her. Or I'll go out with her, you know, this person. Like, don't be jumping on Tinder or anything. Like, be still because I feel like, like, uh, yeah, see, this person is your, is your person. So you got to be sure that whatever move you make, it's like something that you truly want to make. It's like a decision that's coming from what you truly want to do and not just from that part of you that's butt hurt. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. So this is a, a very serious matter here. And um, everything that happened, happened for a reason. It was like in order to heal this part of both of you. So there is a new beginning here but whichever way it goes it's like whatever way you decide to move forward it's like um yeah there's an opportunity here to like equally give and take but the lesson has to be learned for first like you first have to honestly see it from that like a different perspective okay so <sighs> kind of deep Aquarius, but uh, it's all good. Like, this is good stuff here, okay? Like, the only way out is through, man. All right? I love you, Aquarius. Um, keep keep leaning into it. And if anyone's interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. 